Okay, Shalom, Shalom, Chom Yashalaf, Koholo Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rechach Dash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth and just want to save the water toward the Akim and Akwaf that's out here, sincerely keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. Shachlan, the Waf just coming at you with another quick lesson. Pray that it's edifying by the Spirit. And as you can see, this big ass plate of bacon. <laughs> But it says DC bill would ban hospitals from serving bacon to dying patients. And it makes sense, you know, but when I was reading through the comment section, these damn a hey, people are like stray dogs, man. And, and the scriptures talks about uh, men being beasts. You know what? Let me see if I can find that real quick. Like, yeah, Psalm 73 and 22. I'm going to get that one. Um, it says, so, so foolish was I and ignorant. I was as a beast before thee. And when you don't keep, that's the reason why the, the law, statutes, and commandments was given to the Israelites, because it separated them from the other nations. The other nations were living like beasts. And if you're not living by the standards of Yahweh, holy, separate, <laughs> then you're you're no different than a stray dog running the street, man. Running in behind restaurants and trash cans and, you know, eating whatever the hell else, you know, eating your own defecation eating your own vomit no different than that man with some of these comments that are in this this um particular story right here i'll get a little bit of this though but um it says um people want to stock up on people will want to stock up on comfort food and snacks before visiting their loved ones in dc hospitals should a new bill from city council member mary che become law it says um che's healthy hospital amendment act of 2022 would prohibit hospitals in the city from serving bacon, sausage, and other processed meats and mandate that they expand their offerings of plant-based meals and healthy beverages. Now, you would think that they would know that being a hospital, aren't they? but that lets you know that Esau Edom is not in the, the, um, the business of healing people. They're in the business of basically, uh, you know, patching you up, so to speak, you know. They're not, they're not about healing people they're about you know treating people they'll treat you but they won't heal you they're, they're not in the healing people because if they heal you then how could they get money you know and, and that's this is the kingdom that you're living in it says research shows that a diet it, it, and this don't even have to be research <laughs> research shows that a diet rich in fruits vegetables grains and beans can help fight heart disease hypertension diabetes and cancer wrote che in a letter friday Introducing her bill, noting that less than 10% of D.C. adults are getting the recommended number of vegetables in their diet. Hell, that's the, all of America. And the percentage is probably larger than that. It says, with this bill, we can help to increase those numbers by ensuring that everyone at hospitals has access to healthy meals. It's not a new idea. Okay, so they started it back in 2019. Okay. But, I mean, you get the point, man. I'm not going to keep the lesson long. Um... Let me see here. It says the outright ban on processed meats defined as meats that have been transformed <laughs> through salting, curing, fermentation, smoking, or other processes to enhance flavor or improve preservation is complemented by a number of regulations to nudge people into picking healthier drinks. Chase bill would require that 75% of drinks in hospital vending machines, cafeterias, and cafes be non-sugar sweetened beverages. Waters and sparkling waters would also have to be placed at eye level in vending machines or in the highest level or in the highest selling position in the vending machine. Sodas would have to be placed further from eye level or in the lowest selling position. Hospitals will also be pro prohibited from providing sugar sweetened beverages as part of patients meals unless necessary for therapeutic purposes one can see a certain logic to chase bill hospitals are institutions of healing so they shouldn't be selling food that contributes to poor health it's common sense man but you're hey, you living in um esau edom's kingdom man you know matter of fact let me get this one because you're living in a kingdom that's all the way upside down
one. So that's Isaiah. Yeah, Isaiah chapter 5, verse 20. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. And that's America. That's Esau, Edom. And it's not just America. It's Esau, Edom, the, the biblical name for the race of the so-called white people. They'll tell you that it's okay for a man to be a woman and for a woman to be a man. That goes totally against the nature of things, man. But they make it legal. They write that shit in the laws. They're, they're, they're those type of people, man. They shun the good and they and, and they, they they applaud the evil, man, in this place. And that's the that's this is the world that you're living in. As a matter of fact, let's go to um because it's common sense that you would try and why would you allow processed foods? The, the, the most healthiest place to eat should be at a goddamn hospital. <laughs> you think, you know, over any organic or, or you know, restaurant, a damn hospital should have all the, the best of eats, man. You think, <laughs> but not, no, not in um, Esau Edom's kingdom, man. They let your ass right back out. They feeding you poison while you in there, you know, treat you just enough to, to give you your, 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 your whatever medic medication you're they're gonna put your ass on three four five six seven of them at a time while you continuing on clogging up your goddamn uh, veins your arteries with damn oink oink man leviticus 11 and 7 and the swine though he divide the hoof and be cloven footed yet he cheweth not the cud he is unclean to you deuteronomy 14 and 8 it says the swine because it divided the hoof Yet cheweth not the cud, it is unclean unto you. Ye shall not eat of their flesh, nor touch their dead carcass. And, you know, I was kicking it with an Edomite the other day. He was trying to make it seem as if, you know, um, well, it depends on what you feed the pigs. Nah, motherfucker, it don't make no difference what you feed pigs. You're not supposed to, we're not supposed to eat them. You can eat them all you want to. We're not supposed to be touching no goddamn pig, man. And here you go, Jake, eating the damn chitlins, eating the damn shit tube of them, man. Eating feces, man. Talking about how clean you got these these niggas talking about how clean their chitlins is. Oh no, my my chitlins clean. Cause they gotta explain to you <laughs> why if you see it, you can't even put no damn pepper in them. Cause you might be people get shook about if they're whether or not they're eating um some shit pieces or not. It's a lucky for my language, but hey, just keeping it real, man. Jake out here gone, man. But let's go to some of these comments. Let's get some of these comments. Cause check it out. This is what you know kind of got me into doing the lesson. But first off, I seen the article and I thought it was interesting. I went off into it, but I'm like, you know what? Well, let me check out the comments. And you got this Lori Dettelbach, which sound like a damn Edomite. Oh, come on. They're dying. Let them enjoy themselves. If I ever find out I'm dying, I'm going to start smoking cigarettes again. Why not? I'm dying anyways. With the kooky um, emoji. You see these people fucking animals, man. Deidre Kenny, I'd rather live a short life with bacon than a long life without it. See that? I caught a damn a goddamn stray dog, man. It shouldn't matter. This Clarence Reed, it says it shouldn't matter. It is not the pork that's killing them. Oh, no, it's not. They should have whatever they want to eat. They should have whatever they can eat. It could be their last supper. See? It says when a criminal is going to be electrocuted or hung or whatever they get a last meal, why is the government even getting involved? See? It says good this J Janice Dustin, and it sounds like all Edomites. Good grief. Now we must be di dictated to on our food choices. Every week we begin to look more and more like a communist country. Well, you need some damn direction. You some damn animals. You need damn directions. You need somebody over you because you're 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 killing off every damn body and you're and, and, and you're killing off yourselves and killing off everybody else with them. That's why Esau Edom can't be in um in rulership, man. That's why um the Lord is gonna take them out of rulership. They're never gonna get to rule anymore, man. They're never gonna be the scriptures talks about um let me see where that scripture is at. Let me see, uh
kind of eludes me right now. Oh, yeah, I, I kind of figured that's what it was, too. Um, Isaiah 14 and 21, prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers. And that goes for you, you Edomites that, that be running around here in the 2000s, 2022, talking about, well, I didn't own slaves. I had nothing to do with that. But you're still living off the privileges of what your forefathers done. Let me get that again. Prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise nor possess the work that they do not rise nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities. See, y'all got it. They have to be taken out. Nothing will survive. If these people are, are, are ruling, man, another 10, 20 years, especially, uh, we ain't gonna even talk about another half century. Nothing will survive. Nothing, nothing. They'll kill their damn selves off and everybody else. And I was just watching the old Planet of the Apes. Um, I didn't watch it all the way through. Um, but, you know, it starts off that beginning like they are the arbiter of death. <laughs> basically, and it's basically the beginning of that intro of that movie. And they're basically saying the exact same thing about Esau Edom, man. So these people had to be taken out of um, power, man. This person, this is why I would never live in D.C. I'm really starting to hate our country. Keep it up. January 6th will look like nothing. Oh, uh, yeah, you might as well hate this place. Because it, it's on AA. Hey, it's not coming back, bro. You Edomites are done. You Edomites are finished, man. See? This person, if you're dying, what difference does it make? Eat all the bacon you want. No, if you're dying, you want to repent. And eating damn bacon is a, is a, is a huge sin to you. Your, it seems like it's small, but that's a sin to you. How about Shimmy? I was shy, man. Now, are we saved by the law, statutes, and commandments? No, we're saved by what Yahweh Shai done for us. But that don't mean that you go out here and you just live like a complete goddamn demon, man. A damn animal. And Esau Edom, man, that's how they get down. I heard a guy on the radio this morning. Oh, yeah. Uh, a pork butt. I've spent, I used to be able to get a pork butt for $16 and put it in my crock pot. But just the other day, I had to spend $28 on Esau talk fussing about damn inflation. Like, motherfucker, you wouldn't have spent $28 on some, some pig ass? Let me just let you know, man. Just, you know. Look at this one. Bacon is one thing to live for. You ain't seen not one person going against this pork, man. Nothing going against this pork. All of them are with it. It's not up to these idiots to decide who gets what. Well, obviously it is, God damn it. Y'all been running everything anyway. This person, if he can't be cured, I want my bacon cured. Oh my goodness, man. But hey, th th these are the people that are running the country, man. These are the people that are running the world, basically. These are your Job 9 and 24s, man. So I'm not going to keep the lesson long, but as you can see, Esau eat them and, and you finally got Because I'm not sure if this is an Edomite or not that's actually um, that's pushing this bill. But either way, when you really think about it, why would you have um, um, fools in a hospital that you know contribute to high hypertension, diabetes, all the shit that a lot of people, you know, people are, are there in the hospital for? Why would you, you know, why would you, you think them seriously like you think that in a hospital, a place where you're supposed to be healed at, would have the freshest of fruits, fresh water, you know, fresh vegetables. You know, you, you think that it's common sense, like it's, it's it goes together, you know, but not in America. You can get you got all these process companies. The same people that make prison food is the same people that produce damn food for a lot of these hospitals. Same companies, man. So, hey, we're, and the scriptures talks about we'll, we, we'll eat our bread um, defiled amongst our enemies, man, in captivity, roughly paraphrasing. So, you know, we go and do the best that we can. We go to the supermarket. We try and pick up the best of the things that we can. But, hey, man, hey, Esau, eat them. As long as so-called white people are in control of the agriculture, um, um, just food in general, they got their little FDA and CDCs and all these goddamn alphabets. Man, as long as they're in control of all that stuff, you're going to always be eating some bullshit. This is the same people that, I mean, why would they give you GMO foods, man? Why would they give you seedless grapes, 
seedless watermelon, seedless, all these seedless. What's wrong with the seeds being in the vegetables? I mean, in the fruits and vegetables, man. Because Esau want to control and give you some goddamn cardboard to eat, man. They want to give you GMOs, man. So just wanted to just bring that out, man. Hey, stay away from the swine. If you are um, uh, a so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American, hey, it's a law against eating swine. You, you're not supposed to even touch it. Now, matter of fact, over in um, Israel, let me see. Matter of fact, let me see. I can probably get that real quick. Over here in Israel now, right? I'm just going to put it in. Um, let's see what we get. It's so like you bear with me. Um, let's see what this one says. I know they have kosher pig though. I've seen it before. They they actually It says pig meat comes from chicken slaughtered. I'm not getting that. And processed to be marketed throughout the Middle East. Despite Judaism's pro pro prohibition of pork consumption, the word pork is used in Hebrew to describe white meat that has been available at Israeli restaurants and stores for decades. So they slippery as hell, man. They slippery. They, they real slippery, man. And they asses do have culture of uh, uh, pig, man. They real slippery about it. I'm trying to reword this shit. It's white meat. Get the fuck out of here. Okay, but anyway. Enough of that. You got what we needed out of it. But them people over there, man, they, they, ain't, they ain't dealing with the laws like that, man. Anyway, they have a whole bunch of shit that gets around everything, you know. Now, but and in the meanwhile, let's say, for instance, they didn't eat it. Why would they be serving it to other people? Because they own a lot of these these um, um, butchers, these butcheries, man, where, where um, pig comes from. They'll get that shit to Jake in a minute. But if you're so righteous why would you allow other people to eat shit that you you know that you're that you won't eat or you know that's not right for you to eat you see but it is what it is man so i just wanted to just bring this out hey look we're not supposed to eat swine we're not supposed to touch swine and you know hey it is what it is if you live in a household where you got to deal with people that 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 eat swine and you know i just kicked it with my dad it seemed like he pulls up on me. We talk for a while. And every time he's just about to leave, he, he, oh, yeah, I'm just about to go home and get something to eat. He's telling me about some damn pork yesterday. You know, I got this pork, whatever the hell it was. I just started to walk away. I had the discussion with him before. It don't even make no difference. He's ham this. I got pork this. It seems like every single time he eats so much of that shit. 
But, you know, what can we do, man? We can't, you know, talk down on our parents. All we can do is explain to them that, hey, it's not something that we're supposed to. I'd have had the conversation with him a bunch of times. So it, it, it actually stirred up little arguments and stuff like that. So I don't even kick it with him about it no more. I just walk away as he's talking about it. Like, OK, well, all right, go ahead and get you something to eat. I'm going to do the same, you know, so, you know, just to <laughs> crush the, the conversation, man, because it just disgusts me in a sense. But I mean, you know, it is what it is. So, but if you live in a household, hey man, make the best of it. You know that you can't eat it. Um, try, just avoid it at all costs. You know what I'm saying? Hey, look, you can let you know let let your parents know. I, I you know I'm changing my diet up or whatever. I, I don't want that, you know, so to speak. But you know, if you're young enough where you live with parents and you can't get out on your own and they're making all the food preparation um, decisions and things of that nature, you know. But anyway, with that, Kwame Solo.